I'm going to show you how to make a feedback survey. It's a really handy tool for getting data from a class or a group of people. Other people, that is. So go to add an activity or resource and scroll down to feedback survey. It looks like a megaphone in the latest version of Moodle. Add. Once it opens up, first thing we should do is give this survey a name. And then in the description here, we need to put some instructions for the people who are going to be doing the survey. Surveys can be anonymous, or you could ask it to record who has submitted it. So if we click on question and submission settings here, you get the option. So if you want really honest feedback, anonymous is a good way to go. Um, but if you want to, if you have a, an immature class, for example, you may need to collect names. Availability, you can decide when it's going to be available and when you will close it. Um, you can also just choose just to leave that and have it open until you shut it yourself. After submission, you can leave a little thank you message. And then after that, in here, you can decide whether to have it visible to different groups in your course, if you have your course divided into groups, or just have it visible to everyone. I won't go into restricting access here, that's a job for another video. So let's save it and display so we can work out what questions we're going to do. Okay, <laughs> here's my class, Hervé. So when someone opens it up, they'll see something more or less like this, and they need to click on answer the questions to answer the questions. But we don't have any questions yet, so we need to edit the questions. And here's where we decide what we're going to make. So firstly, I might have a, a multiple choice question. Okay, so I've made a question here. How would you rate your understanding of today's lesson? One equals terrible, five equals excellent. So to put my choices in here, three, four, five, pop them on a new line each time. And we don't need to worry about anything else. Just hit save question. And you can see the different options there. Now, um, I've got this not selected thing here. I can choose to hide that if I want. If I want to edit this question, I just click on the little gear icon over here. I can choose to hide that option by clicking here. And I can compel the student to answer the question by clicking up here, make sure it's making it's required. Now, a quick way to make multiple multiple choice questions like this would be to edit the question, change what I'm asking here. Now, if I change the text, I can just scroll down and save as a new question. It keeps the old question and creates a new one. There are other types of questions you can ask, including text answers, short or long, a long is more of a paragraph, short is maybe one or two words, a numeric answer where you want them to put a number in, the others you probably really won't use. If you've got a long survey, you might want to add a page break so that it goes over a couple of pages, that way uh, it's not such an assaulting wall of questions right up. When you've finished, you can just uh, leave this, it's all saved, and if I go back to the class, here it is, I might just change the name. Now, if I click on it, because I'm a teacher, I'll get all these tabs up here. Students will only just see, they won't see the tabs. They'll just see this here where they have to click down here where it says answer the questions. My, one of my problems with this is that it doesn't really show very well that this is what they have to do, that they have to click here. It should say probably click here to answer the questions. Um, but if, once they've done it once, it should be fine. The other really good thing you can do is you can save this as a template. So if you've just made a big survey up and you'd like to use it in more than one of your courses, save it as a template. And then the next time you're creating one, you can just go to the template and use it. So save these questions as a new template. Give it a name. If you save it as public, then other people can use it as well. So save it as a new template. And it should appear in my drop down list of templates. There it is. You can see that a whole bunch of others have been made at our school. Then if I'm making a new one, I just need to go to templates, click on use this template, and it will populate my survey with all of those questions. Later when you get your results, you can go to analysis, which shows you how people have answered the questions. 
and show responses which shows you exactly what they've done, what they've written. I've got nothing here at the moment. Play with it yourself. You can export the data to Excel and it's a good way to dial down uh, into what students are thinking and how they're feeling about their work. Of course, you could use it in other contexts as well. You can use it in the workplace to um, gauge the satisfaction of your colleagues, anything you, you can really imagine. And the fact that you can make it anonymous sets it apart from the quiz module that there is here as well. So I hope that's been helpful. Check out my other videos if you're interested in learning more about Moodle.